Traveling Victor is going to the front. Gumboy is second, moving up on the outside. New Broom is third, moving up along the rail. Retzina run fourth on the outside. Then Night Mover, Ancestral, followed by Chum Salmon. Uncle Berry down, racing by the rail. Then it is Iron Billy, and Prairie Breaker is the trailer. Another turning for the back stretch. Now New Broom has the lead by three quarters. Traveling Victor alongside, down along the rail by three and a half lengths. Then it is Night Mover, Red Cena run on the outside, Gumboy between horses. Then Ancestral, Iron Billy, Chum Salmon, Prairie Breaker, and Uncle Berry down the trailer. Now they're going to the half. New Broom has the lead by a neck. Traveling Victor on the rail in second by four. Night Mover third by three quarters. Retzina run fourth on the outside. Gumboy is fifth. Then Ancestral Iron Billy, Chum Salmon, Prairie Breaker, and Uncle Berry down. And they run the half 44 and four. Now they have a quarter mile to home. It is Traveling Victor and New Broom. Those two heads apart for the lead by three. Night Mover on the outside is on the move. Then it is Ancestral in mid-track. There at the eighth pole, Traveling Victor has the lead. But here comes Night Mover. Traveling Victor along the rail. Night Mover is second. New Broom, Retzina run. Traveling Victor. He's Traveling Victor. Silver Bullet Day, eight to five on the board. Manistique is in, ready for the start. And they're off in the distaff. Heritage of Gold is off to a good start. Beautiful Pleasure too, and Beautiful Pleasure using her tactical speed right up on the lead. And Keeper Hill right there in between those two. Silver Bullet Day has come up with the leaders, and the massive Philly Manistique will be taken wide as they go into the clubhouse turn. Then it's Banshee Breeze, tap to music, is near the back of the pack in the early going, and the French Philly Louvre Mysterious trails the field. Beautiful Pleasure has company on the lead in Heritage of Gold. Beautiful Pleasure now taking command as they make their way into the backstretch. First quarter, 22 and four. A sensational opening quarter here. Beautiful Pleasure has the lead, but she had to run hard to get there. And she leads by two lengths down the backstretch. Keeper Hill and Heritage of Gold running second and third. Silver Bullet Day, and Bailey has some running room on the inside now, and moves into fourth position. Just in behind her, it's Banshee Breeze. Manistique continues on the outside, followed by Tap to Music. Five lengths back to a laboring Louvre Mystery use. The half mile in a grueling 46 and two fifth seconds. Beautiful Pleasure trying to do it all the way on the lead. She is still running unopposed with three and a half for lunch to go here, leading by four. Silver Bullet Day is full out and driving second. Heritage of Gold is third. And Banshee Breeze has asked for her run, but she still has a lot to do. Five lengths behind. Beautiful Pleasure who turns for home with the lead. And the field is closing in. Heritage of Gold with an upset chance. Silver Bullet Day, Banshee Breeze has running room on the inside. Father back, Keeper Hill is fourth, less than a furlong to go. Beautiful Pleasure trying to gut it out for 100 more yards. Here comes Banshee Breeze, and she's flying, coming to the finish. Beautiful Pleasure, saved by the wire. And she wins by a neck.
Richie Brees, full out, finishing second, Heritage of Gold is third. And there is the happy Peruvian Jorge Chavez, beautiful puncher of the winner, and trainer John Ward. Was running at Pleasanton and Solano, that's on the California Fair Circuit. Jeff Bondi, the trainer, said she's pretty good. They tried on Saluki, they found out she's real good, so they're giving it a try here today in the Breeders' Cup. Bondi says she's even better than when she raced against Chaluki last time. Tom? All right, Kenny, Chaluki the favorite at eight to five, and the juvenile filly is a mile and a sixteenth. For some of the fillies, their first time around two turns, and right now a little uh, trouble getting Darling, my darling, into the starting gates. Let's go to Tom Durkin. Moving into line now, Warrior Queen. And on the outside, 99 to 1, Asher. Irish Philly, Warrior Queen is in. And Asher to complete the field. Run of about one furlong into the first turn for this race. They're in the gate. And they're off. Chaluki breaks in stride. Talk back has speed. Cash run third toward the inside. Surfside and Darling My Darling all up close to the lead. Just in behind them, it is Spain, followed by Longshot Asher, then Warrior Queen. Scratch pad to be the early trailer. And Surfside got hung up five wide going into the clubhouse turn. Cash Run benefited from the inside post and rides the rails to the lead through an opening quarter with the wind at their backs at 22 and three-fifths seconds. Talk back right up on this hot pace. And Chaluki chasing the hot pace as well. It's two lengths back to Darling My Darling, who's in the clear and on the outside. She's running in fourth. Spain moves up in the fifth position now. And then it's Warrior Queen between horses six. Asher is seventh. Surfside is one horse beaten, and that is Scratch Pad. The leader is Cash Run, and Cash Run opens up. Opens up by three. The half and 45 and four. Excruciating opening half mile for Cash Run, who takes the field into the far turn. There goes Chaluki. With three furlongs to go, it's Chaluki, who takes the lead. Cash Run second. The Canadian Philly talk back is right there. Spain is just in behind the lead. Darling, my darling, is laboring. Surfside still is eight lengths to make up as the field turns for home. Cash Run bracing for the challenge of Chaluki. Chaluki and Cash Run. Cash Run is determined. Chaluki is full out. Those two Phillies giving their all with one furlong to go. Spain is third. Surfside is fourth. Down to the final 16th. A bitter struggle here. Cash Run with unwavering determination turns back Chaluki. Surfside too late. Cash Run wins. Cash Run has done it. Another wire to wire victory here. And a huge upset beneath Jerry Bailey. A 30 to 1 prize. It is a wire wire victory for Cash Run. Dwayne Lucas has now, D. Wayne Lucas has now won his fourth Juvenile Phillies. Wow, once again we see the speed hold up. Full gate load of 14 mile specialist. Europe's Lenda Hand moves into post position number seven. Then on the outside, Susu along with Garbu. Susu in behind the gate, a little bit reluctant. And Garbu, Jerry Bailey aboard, the hero of the juvenile fillies with cash run. Susu, a little assistance from the assistant starters. Breezy conditions here at Gulfstream Park today. Just a bit of a crosswind actually at this point. A bit more to the backs of the horses as they move into the clubhouse turn and then a wind into them as they begin that run down the back stretch. Garbu moving into post position number 14 now. We're ready for the start of the Breeders' Cup. slowly. Delay of game gets off to a good start. Kirkwall is there. So too Jim and Tonic. Quiet resolve. Garbo and toward the outside is Brave Act as they race for the clubhouse turn. It's delay of game. Garbo is going to get hung up four wide into the turn. Right there in between horses. It's quiet resolve. Brave Act three wide into the turn on the outside. Fourth. Jim and Tonic gets a coveted spot inside down toward the rail in fifth position. Lend a hand off of each slowly. He's sixth on the outside. Kirkwall rating back in seventh position. And then it's Middlesex Drive. Not much speed for him today. He's in traffic now. Middlesex Drive under a hard hold there by Shane Sellers. Kumbamello also under stout restraint, about nine lengths from the lead. Now followed by 
Selleck, who's in the clear. Then Tuplin near the back of the pack, along with Dotsider. Hawksley Hill and Susu, the two trailers. Hawksley Hill, the favorite, is last after the first four furlongs in 47 seconds flat. The field moving into the far turn, and it is Garbu with a narrow lead over Brave Act. Garbu holding on a short lead. Brave Act, here comes Lendahan, and Lendahan is cruising up to the lead, and Selleck is sweeping four wide as they approach the top of the stretch. Docksider is following his move. Kirkwall just in behind the leaders. And there's delay of game. Middlesex drive toward the inside. Tuzla charging down the center of the track. Wide open. Linda Hand short lead. Silic on the outside. Linda Hand holding on. Linda Hand fully extended to hold up Silic. Here comes Tuzla flying as they come to the finish. And Docksider talking into on the wire. Silic gets it for the stakes. Silic the new on the wire. Very close for second there between that Tuzla and Docksider. Of Basilic, who came from off the pace here, he had to come very wide into the stretch. He collared lend a hand and went off to earn a narrow decision in 134 and one. So Silic wins the Breeders' Cup mile unofficially in 134. Equine, and there's some fast ones in the gates. Two more to go, or actually three more. We're waiting for Delaware Township. Peeping Tom and Hook and Letter. Keeping Tom a big, big price here at 13 to win an oak and ladder at 90 to one. Long shots on the outside. A lot of speed there down toward the inside. Extra heat. Squirtle Squirt's got a lot of speed. And the defending champion, Kona Gold, look for him to come from uh, somewhere near the back of the pack early. He's got a powerful late run. There in the gate. And caller one is flashing his speed to five star day joins the frailery and squirtle squirt right there running in fourth left bank is fifth hook and ladder sixth on the outside by two Delaware Township is now running in seventh El Corridor is eighth Aladdin is ninth Kona Gold is under a busy ride but he's dropped back to tenth Mozart off last and he's now eleventh peeping Tom swept overboard and bet on sunshine the last of them all he's 15 lengths from the lead they tore through that opening quarter in 22 and two fifth seconds and extra heat is flooding her speed here coming to the top of the stretch holding off caller one for the moment squirtle squirt is just in behind them five star day is kicking in on the far outside the whip is out on left bank swept overboard is coming up the inside and delaware township coming with a resolute rally down the middle of the track it is still extra heat here comes squirtle squirt that it would be Squirtle Squirt that would break the Frankel Ofer string in the Breeders' Cup. When all else fails, just rely on Jerry Bailey. Bailey gets Squirtle Squirt home after seeing favored Flute and favored you taste defeat in the earlier races. Frankel... It's to matter, I should say, at the gate. And as we look at uh, Banks Hill, one of the Europeans, uh, going into the gate there. There's a, there's a little uh, schnag going there. Judmont Farm, the owner of Banks Hill, is 0 for 30 as owners in the Breeders' Cup. Let's go to Tom Durkin for the Philly and Mare Turf. One more behind the gate, and there she is, Leilani. And uh, Jerry Bailey, recently of the winner's circle. They're in the gate for the Philly and Mare Turf. And they're off. And England's legend, out for the lead quickly from the outside. Here comes Starreen to run with her. And in between horses, it's Moju Ceased as the field moves into the clubhouse turn. Leilani's up with the early leaders, too. England's legend and Moju right there to prompters. They move into the clubhouse turn.